President Obama says no act of terror can match the strength and character of the United States. He made that declaration at this morning's dedication for the national September 11th Memorial Museum in New York City. NBC's Jay Gray has more. A solemn ceremony on sacred ground, the dedication of the 9-11 Museum created in the original footprint of the Twin Towers. This museum, built on the site of rubble and ruins, is now filled with the faces, the stories, and the memories of our common grief and our common hope. The families of those who died, the first responders and survivors all gathered for the ceremony. People like Allison Crowther, whose son Wells died helping others escape the South Tower. For us, he lives on in the people he helped and in the memory of what he chose to do that Tuesday in September. President Obama offered sympathy and hope to the victims' families. Those we lost live on in us, in the families who love them still. Inside the museum, there are so many remnants from that horrible day. The World Trade Center tridents, the survivor stairs used by hundreds to escape, pieces of the jet that slammed into the North Tower, all part of the terror attacks that share this space now with overwhelming memories and emotions. In the years to come, the 9-11 Memorial Museum will take its place alongside the fields of Gettysburg, the waters of Pearl Harbor, and the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. A memorial and museum that shares the story of September 11th for generations to come. Over the next few days, only the family members and others most affected by the attacks and special groups will be allowed inside the museum. It officially opens to the public next Wednesday, May 21st. Jay Gray, NBC News, New York.